26th February 2020 As usual I was taking YouTube journey and suddenly a video popped up my YouTube recommendation It was a video about making a game in 48 hours which felt incredible for me at that time and then I understood that it's possible to make a game in 48 hours and it's a game making competition commonly called Game Jam By the way, GMTK Game Jam 2020 hosted by Game Makers Toolkit YouTube channel is just completed and there were over 5000 games were made in 48 hours, which is absolutely incredible. I didn't participated in that by the way. Am I slipping off the topic? No, not really. 26th February 2020. That was the time me and my friends released the wallpaper app and dreamed of getting 1 million downloads in Play Store just because the world wasn't ready for our app. that dream is still a dream for us because i was frustrated and didn't have a clue about what i'm going to do next i thought why shouldn't i give it a try on game development it wasn't the first time i had this thought in my mind 4 years before i heard about a game called color switch which is made in a software called billbox without writing a single line of code so i downloaded billbox and worked for like 1 month but it didn't work out well so i scrapped it so this is the second time i'm shaking my hands with game development Anyways, I downloaded Unity and installed it on my PC. After surfing through internet for beginner tutorials about Unity, I started to follow a course. My first game, The Number Wizard. It's not a game actually. It's just a program that you navigate the game to the number you have guessed. My second game, Block Breaker. It was a recreation of the old Block Breaker game. Honestly, I had fun while making these games. But what's the point of making games from those tutorials? So I started to make my own game called Topple. The idea of the game was mine, but my friend is doing all the hard work. So this was my idea. The player navigates the ball from top to bottom using a joystick situated at the bottom of the screen. There will be parallels coming up, a speed slider and a timer. The objective of the game is to navigate the ball through the parallels without getting out of the screen in time. You can also adjust the speed of the parallels coming up. You have to play the level more than at least two times to figure out the correct speed of the parallels coming up, and you have to set it to the correct speed to complete the level. Because if the speed is too high, then the ball will go out of the screen, and if the speed is too low, then the ball cannot hit the last parallel in time. The idea was cool when I discussed with my friends, but it was a failure, a total failure. So the only way to introduce difficulty in the game is to setting a precise speed value instead of a range and that is not suitable for a game. So we scrapped this time speed concept and decided to make it simple. Control the ball with a joystick and navigate the ball without getting out of the screen. That's it. While I was working on Topple, I saw a video about lightweight render pipeline. Basically what it does is just allow you to play with lights in 2D. and is suitable for mobiles suddenly an idea popped to our mind the idea was this the ball should have a light source and there will be lit parallels at certain distances when you start the game the ball will be lit and as the time goes it will start dimming you will lose if the light intensity hits zero and you can't see the placement of next parallel because the only light source in the game will be the light from the ball and very few colored ambient lights So you should reach a lit parallel before the light intensity hits zero. Then the parallel slide will be transformed to the ball. Took me some time to program these things but it all worked out. Then this weird problem occurred to the game. What's in the problem with the program or the logic of the game? First I thought it will be a small problem. I thought I can fix it with a quick Google search. But when I googled this problem literally no one experienced this before. Which means I am stuck. I spent days to find solution for this, asked for answers in Discord servers, but no one was really understanding what's going on. The problem was this: the ball was acting weird when the speed of the parallels increases. It's like the friction of the parallels increases when the speed increases. The ball is getting stuck on the parallels because of this. Then I thought I'll just adjust the friction of the parallels, causing the problem separately, which is impossible because it needs a lot of play testing. So I was literally stuck. After so much searching on the internet, I saw a video about brackets explained in the game physics. It really helped me, and I fixed the problem. The problem was this: when the parallel speed increases, the parallel is kind of pushing the ball upwards, 
there will be a downward force from the ball also. When we control the ball with a joystick, the resultant is not exactly at left or right to the direction of the ball. Its direction is to the corner of the ball, which makes the ball stick to the paddle. I understood the problem but I didn't know how to fix it. The only way to fix the issue is to make paddles stationary, which will completely destroy my game idea. But there will be a solution for every problem, right? So I started to think how can I implement the same mechanics with the stationary paddles. Yes, moving the camera instead. So I opened VS Code and started programming. And the problem was solved. After adjusting some values like friction, gravity and mass, I could implement the same mechanics I have done before without any issues. Then I made some fireflies using Unity's particle system. And then I got bored of Topol. Maybe it's because I'm a beginner and it's taking more time for me to program such simple things in Topol. So I thought I will complete Topol after making a simple game. And then I start to make Crash Cloud. I have uploaded 3 devlogs about Crash Cloud covering start of the development and releasing it on Google Play Store. I will put a link to the game and the devlogs in the description below. And that's it, that's my 6 months of learning Unity. I'm thinking of completing Topple and releasing it on Google Play Store. So smash like button if you like this video, smash dislike if you didn't and also subscribe for upcoming devlogs, games and tutorials. And thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video.